Good morning, happy Tuesday, and happy day 19 of Vlogmas. <sighs> I didn't sleep very well last night because these guys didn't do a very good job yesterday. And then I lost by one fantasy league by like three points. So that was fun. Let's talk about the workout today. We're doing a workout from Lebe Stark. Am I saying it right? Specifically, we're doing the, you only need a kettlebell and these six moves to train your full body workout. Quite the claim there. Welcome to a high intensity kettlebell workout that will push your limits and transform your body. This dynamic workout is divided into two parts, targeting your full body and focusing on strength, explosiveness, muscle building, and endurance. Get ready to elevate your fitness game with just six powerful exercises. Let's talk more as we start to get ready. So we've kind of got four different things that we're gonna be looking at in this workout. Strength, which we've talked about kind of ad nauseum during the series. Explosiveness, so to me with kettlebells, that's gonna mean like power. Power. power is typically gonna be lower reps, so traditionally like one to 10 reps. And essentially you're trying to move weight or produce force as quickly as possible. And that is like kind of par for the course with kettlebells and kettlebell skills, which we will be doing in this workout. So muscle building, something else we've kind of talked about a lot between max strength and hypertrophy. And then finally, endurance. Endurance we haven't talked a lot about. If we're thinking traditional training, endurance is gonna be like 12 plus reps typically. And there's two different types of endurance. There's cardiovascular endurance and muscular endurance, or at least two main types in my eyes. Cardiovascular endurance is gonna be more stressing your cardiovascular system. So getting your heart rate pretty high, um, breathing heavier and being in that for a longer period of time rather than short bursts. And strength endurance or muscular endurance, that's gonna be focused more on moving weight or producing force for a longer period of time. So for instance, to keep it super simple, cardio endurance could be like running for, I don't know, what's a long time? An hour, that's long for me. <laughs> muscular endurance could be doing 20 reps of a bicep curl. Now this is where kettlebells gets fun because there's overlap there. A really great example would just be kettlebell swings. Let's say you're doing 30 seconds of kettlebell swings. Well, you are both going to be working your cardiovascular endurance and your muscular endurance. Now we'd wanna like zoom out and look at the rest of the program too, but that's just a basic example. And this is a reason why kettlebell skills are a form of training that have a lot of overlap in different benefits and styles. I talked about that in this video with my friend Jane, but overall something I wanna quickly remind you guys of is that there is a lot of overlap in these things that I'm discussing. I'm kind of breaking them down in a very analytical, basic way so you can understand it. But just like our muscles, tendons, ligaments, fascia, all of these things work together. So when we say this muscle does this, well, it can also help with this, 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 and this. And it's kind of the same thing with different training focuses. Okay, well, this workout is focused on strength, but it also might focus on this, 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 and this. Or this, 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 and this might add to the benefits of this main goal. Anyway, that was a longer tangent than I wanted it to be, but I wanted you to understand what the claims are made in this workout and how they all can support each other even though they are slightly different things. Now this workout specifically also says that it's gonna be a full body workout, these six exercises are the only things you need, which is a big claim. And I also understand like SEO, you want people to click on the workout. We're not taking it too seriously, but for the sake of education, let's talk about what I'm gonna look for with that claim. So I wanna see a knee dominant exercise, a hip dominant exercise, and then I wanna see an upper body pull in the horizontal plane, in the vertical plane, and then an upper body push in the horizontal and the vertical plane. Ideally, I'd love to get like some unilateral work and rotation in there too, but now we're like crossing into functional ideologies and none of those claims were made. So let's quickly chat schedule because I am definitely running behind. It's almost 7.30, so I gotta scootaloo. We have a full body workout that I'm teaching at 8 a.m. Then we're gonna edit that workout. I have a virtual client at 10 a.m. I have to refilm that kettlebell play workout that I did last week because I didn't like the program. <laughs> then we're gonna actually go to the gym to do this workout because it's not follow along. And I also want more kettlebell weight options. I have a quick meeting about this private event that I'm doing for a corporate company tomorrow. Then we're gonna edit this vlog and then I have one more virtual client at 5.45. So it's a full day, but lots of breaks in there, a little bit spread out. I am going to get ready for class and I'll see you in a bit. It's the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees Gift wrapping and cheer Just the worst time to be with a someone special In all the movies there Kissing in the snow Holding hands and mittens Baking together at home Not like the movies when I'm walking in the snow Cold hands and mittens Eating gingerbread home alone I dream of December nights 
Kissing under bright lights, snowflakes in my head, carols playing in the air. I dream of December nights. Kissing under bright lights, red bow in my hair, sleigh bells in the air. The only thing I'm missing is you. Stockings on fireplace, but in my living room, a single one with my name. Knit sweaters and lace, dressed up alone on the couch during cold winter days. In all the movies, there, kissing in the snow, holding hands and mittens, picking together at home. Not like the movies when I'm walking in the snow, cold hands and mittens. Believe I'm still bejeweled when I walk in the room. I can still make the whole place shimmer. That was on my playlist. <laughs> Let's chat. So we have two things to talk about. Was this workout science backed and did I enjoy it? So in terms of science backed, I want to go through the exact claims that were made and then talk about if this kettlebell focused workout actually did those things. So I want to start first with the idea that these are the six moves that can train your full body. So I said earlier, what do I want to see here? Hip dominant, knee dominant, upper body pull and push in both the vertical and horizontal plane. And then ideally we have some kind of unilateral or rotation work in there. But again, that's getting more like picky functional training. Those other things that I just listed are very traditional movement patterns in any type of strength training. So let's just go down the list. We had a goblet clean to squat. So that's going to be a knee dominant and hip dominant movement in one. We have a clean to press. So now we are getting in unilateral work with the upper body and we're also going to be getting a vertical push. And then we've got this, I made it a single leg deadlift because I knew weight wise I wanted to challenge myself more, but essentially we have a unilateral hinge again. Then we have a single arm swing. That's a hinge or hip dominant, a jerk, another vertical press, a snatch, another vertical press, the like no jump burpee thing. So we are getting a horizontal press. So it seems like at first glance, the only thing in here that we're missing are upper body pulling movements, but you could actually manipulate a few of these exercises to at least get in a vertical pull. In the clean to press or the jerk, you could actually control the descent and use more of the lat, making this more of a vertical pull focused movement than a vertical push. You could also, I guess, make the claim that like the clean could be a horizontal pull. That's a little bit of a far stretch, but I could see how you could argue that. So for the most part, I do think that this pretty much lives up to the title of the video. We don't want to get too strict with it because we are looking at this from a kettlebell training type of view. And I do think it pretty much, at least if you just manipulate a few things in here in terms of tempo, you are kind of covering all your bases. So I would say with the claims made in the title, in the description, the way that his name is Gregory, by the way, thank you everybody online for explaining that Le Base Stark is German for live strong. Is that right? Or am I just making that up because of the Live Strong bracelets? I will say it's harder to prep for these videos when I have less than 24 hours to turn them around from here on out. So bear with me, everybody. <laughs> anyway, in terms of science fact, I think this definitely meets the mark of what is claimed, what is described, and what is programmed. So I'm going to give this a five out of five for science fact. Let's talk about if I enjoyed it. I loved this workout. It actually really reminds me of before I hurt my shoulder, the skills day that I was implementing once a week where I basically just would like put together a complex or two and work on my kettlebell skills and also get in some zone two training. One of the reasons that people, including myself, really enjoy kettlebells is because you can check a lot of things off the list at once as long as your programming is solid. You can work on some fun skills. You can get some endurance work in there. You can work on your strength and you can get in some of that zone two cardio, which I've made a whole video about that has a whole host of benefits. Benefits, I would definitely recommend watching that. I think I also am like extra happy with today because if you've been watching since before Vlogmas, you probably remember that I did hurt my shoulder about three or four months ago now. And I have not done, I haven't done a snatch 
since then. And I was a little nervous and I was also using a 30 pound kettlebell and I just went for it. And I will say my mechanics are not fantastic. Watching the video, I gotta get my elbow pulled back more, get out of my head a little bit. And really I just need to get more reps in, but it felt really great to get it into my programming again. So I was really happy with today. I would probably say if you're an absolute beginner to kettlebells, if all of Gregory's workouts are like this, I would say you probably need something just to like really simply break down skills first. But if you're someone who has like the level one skills, like swing, clean, snatch, press, squat, like I think these are really, really solid workouts, really fun and a great way to kind of check a lot of things off of the list if these are things that you enjoy. So with that, we are gonna give it a five out of five for enjoyment and we are adding another 10 to the master list. That was such a fun workout. It's time to pick tomorrow's. All right, I feel like I wanna give these like a nice shuffle. Add all these bad boys back in. Here we go, we're going deep. That was shallow. Body Fit by Amy. Never heard of her. All right, she's got a lot of stuff on here. I can't believe I've never heard of her. Also a lot of different types of modalities. All right, so tomorrow we're gonna try a Body Fit by Amy workout. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what I'm choosing. Honestly, right now, I need to eat lunch because I'm starving. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the final few days of Vlogmas, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.